Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. LCA Tejas is India's first, I'm sorry, second indigenous fighter jet, first one being HL Maruth. The aircraft is 60% indigenous in terms of cost of the component and recently HL has been aggressively working on replacing the imported LRUs with the indigenous one. The designers of this aircraft have developed it more like a weapon delivery platform and this is the reason why you could see numerous weapons package that are integrated and will be integrated with LCA Tejas in future. The kind of weapons that the aircraft carry is phenomenal and that is what makes the combat capability of aircraft tremendous and pretty lethal in its role. It's probably the only aircraft in the world that can fire indigenous missile as well as weapons imported from US, Europe, Israel and Russia. This explains the flexibility of aircraft architecture and its software that allows it to have a versatile weapons package. So in today's video, we are discussing in detail about the weapons and missiles of LCA Tejas. LCA is configured for carrying short range thermal missiles as well as long range beyond visual range missiles and both of them are of world class. It is integrated with Russian R-73E missile with infrared homing system. It is designed to kill enemy highly agile and maneuverable aircrafts in dogfights and in a range as max as 40 kilometers. It is capable of operating during both day and night and has the all aspect look down shoot down capabilities. It can destroy its target on the tail chase and head on course in spite of heavy electronic countermeasures. The R-73 homing devices is fed target designation data through pilot's HMD that is helmet mounted display system or EOTS sensors. In short range, Tejas is also integrated with MBDA's ASR AAM. The missile has a range in excess of 25 km. The missile can be launched in LOBL that is lock on before launch or LOAL that is lock on after launch modes. It has speed over Mach 3 and can perform maneuvers of up to 50G which outperforms all existing short range combat missiles. It offers 360 degree engagement coverage. LCA Tejas has already been integrated with Israel's IWER ER and Python 5 missiles. The IWER ER is a long range air to missile having operational range of up to 100 km with a maximum speed of Mach 4 and two way data link. The Python 5 is the newest missile of Israel's Python family of short range air to missiles. The integration of Astra Mark 1 is in progress with LCA Tejas. Astra and MBDS SRAM's integration is expected to be complete before the delivery of the Mark 1A that is by 2024. The addition of Astra Mark 1 to LCA will give its capability to engage targets in beyond visual range. The Astra Mark 1 has slightly better range and speed when compared with Derby ER and AIM 120C missiles. While the Derby ER's maximum range is 100 km and maximum speed of Mach 4, Astra can be fired at a maximum range of 110 km and has a maximum speed of Mach 4.5. The Astra Mark 1 and Derby ER both are going to be standard BVI missiles of Indian Air Force for a long time until Astra Mark 2 clears its developmental trial and user trials and enters into production. In summary, LCA Tejas in its present configuration can equip itself with R-73E, I Derby ER and Python 5 missiles. In near future, that is in next 1 to 2 years, we could also see LCT is capable of firing Astra Mark 1 and MBDS ASR AM. Astra Mark 2 will be integrated when it will complete its trial for which there is no update yet. In typical air combat role, LCA can carry 2 R73E, 2 Python 5 or 4 ASR AM missiles in its 2 outer wing pylons. It can carry either 4 Derby or Astra Mark 1 or Mark 2 for beyond visual range engagement in its two inner pylons next to the outer pylons. Now recently HL has released an infographics which you can see on your screen. If you notice at the right hand side of the infographics, you can see certain weapons marked as in flight such as Hammer, JDAM, NG, LGB, Griffin LGB, SAW and Tara which means that these missiles and weapons are not yet integrated with Tejas and the development process is going on. But the biggest confusion comes when we don't see this status against Astra Mark 1 and Mark 2. The obvious question is had they been integrated and tested with LC Tejas? Honestly, 
it would be difficult to speculate as we have not even seen one trial of Astra Mark 1 and Mark 2 missiles from LCA Tejas. The DRDO did release its video for a public day where we could see Astra Mark 1 integrated with the pylons of LCA which could be even for the captive trials. We will have to wait furthermore for the confirmation on this news. Till then, happy guessing. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.